Hi everyone, welcome to another gazebo chat. I put a video up a little earlier of my unboxing from Milan Tobacco, and it was this Eric Nording pipe, and I have it stuffed with, uh, let me get out the uh, description, Star City Delight, it's one of the aromatics that came um, with, in my order. And I decided to take a little break from the Latakia to not kind of to not really spoil it. I think it's a nice occasional smoke, but for me, as of right now, not something I would smoke very often. But anyway, its description from their site is a blend of various Virginias and Black Cavendish. This mild tobacco has a wonderful, smooth flavor of vanilla and slight hints of exotic fruits and peach. So I thought it'd be very nice to have. Um, and I have a different setup now um, in the gazebo. Um, instead of me actually holding the camera the whole time, I have it set down. So it'll be a lot easier for me to relight my pipe instead of doing it one-handed and um, reading things if I ever have a description. So this is the first time I'm smoking this pipe, first time I'm smoking this tobacco. And you'll um, get to see firsthand what I think of it. It's taking quite a bit to get lit. One thing I did notice as I was packing this is it's a lot more wet than any other tobacco I've had, even the aromatics. It was kind of gummy, so it's having a little trouble lighting. And I may have to let it sit for a little bit before I smoke it again because it's um because of it being so wet. Uh, but yeah, it's going out pretty fast. wind isn't helping either <laughs> but um aside from it being hard to get lit it does smell very nice it does taste very nice the um thing i like about aromatics is not only are they pretty smelling and nice for other people um i enjoy them as well um and um as a novice pipe smoker i'm starting to learn a little bit of how to like pick out some of the flavors tobaccos. I can definitely taste the uh, creamy vanilla. I s think I smell the peach, like the, f the fruity smell a lot more than taste it, but there is something there in the, um, in the taste as well. It is definitely very mild, very enjoyable. And one thing I really like about this pipe, although it looks very rustic, very kind of bulky in its um, design, it's you know it's not symmetrical. The stem, or the I guess this is the shank. It's also curved a little bit. It's all very. It, it reminds me of something you you'd pick up off the ground in the woods, like a log. But since it's shined, you know, it's polished, and it also has that rustic design, it's like, you know, you hear, you pay extra for that vintage feel nowadays. And that's kind of how I feel about this. It, it looks like something you could have just picked off the ground, but it looks, at the same time, so elegant, and it smokes very well. It's also very light, which was surprising to me has a thinner stem overall than my Savinelli. There, now I'm getting starting to get a little char going. I don't know if you can see it, but... <laughs> 
Yeah, this is definitely a great smoke. Um, at first when I was smelling them, I was smelling them from outside the bag, and I was like, man, these all smell like, you know, like English, a heavy Latakia blend. But then, um, it was because there were four aromatics, two English, and two, um, non-aromatics. I don't know the difference between, like, non-aromatic and English and Virginia. I don't know what they are, so if somebody could please tell me, um, it would definitely help me out, and I wouldn't be calling things <laughs> just non-aromatics. But they all smell the same, and once I opened this one, this was actually the first one I opened, because I liked the description. It had peach, I never had an arrow with peach, but once I opened it, it did not smell like a non-aromatic. <laughs> it is very, er, it is very sweet, very mild. And a nice break from the, um, I, I, I guess I'll call them Latakia blends. The uh, two Latakia from Yuli's. And I did like them, but they are definitely occasional smokes for me. And this is uh, something I could smoke every day. It is a little hard to get lit, like I said. But it might just be because I have to let it sit for a little bit, a little while. But Milan Tabacanus, you guys are definitely doing something right. So as of now, I've tried hand blended tobacco from Boswell's, from Yuli Tobacco Company, and from Milan Tobacconist, and they all have stuff that I like. And what's been recommended quite a bit as a very mild um, non-arrow is Woodlands from Boswell. So next time I go there, I will be sure to check it out. Although I haven't been there for over a month now, even though it's my local shop. I only go there on weekends, and on weekends I've been going to my aunt and uncle, so haven't had the opportunity to go to Boswell's. But I'll definitely pick up at least an ounce of that and try it out since so many of you are recommending it. And I guess I could order it and just have it ship here, but... There's something about going into a shop that if I have the opportunity, I'm definitely going to do it. It's such a nice, warm feeling. And if some of you people are um, strictly just ordering stuff online and don't have a local shop, you, you guys are missing out. It, um, you know, you're getting great product, but um, there's just something about the people that you deal with. Even if you call them up and don't order online, if you talk to people. Um, at Yuli's, I've talked to a couple people now, and they're just some of the nicest people you'll ever know. And they are very uh, knowledgeable of pipe and cigar smoking. So, If you have the opportunity to just talk to the people and you can't, there's no local shop, call up Yulee's or Boswell's. Um, I haven't talked to anyone from Milan, but um, it, it's all basically the same. They're nice people, down to earth not trying to sell you something. They want you to get what you like, and they try to help you through that. So, um, it's definitely a great experience, and, um, before I make this video too long, I just want to thank you guys for watching again, and, um, to follow me on Twitter at Justin P. Banco. Um, that way we can talk between videos, because I don't always make them every day. And, um, again, thanks for watching. Bye now.